Hi, Terry from rightlobemath.com. Welcome to the third video of our how to get started training on rightlobemath.com. In the first video of this series, we looked at how to get started on abacus training. In the second video, we learned how to use the mental training module. If you haven't seen the first two videos, I highly recommend you go back and watch them before proceeding with this video. In this video, we're going to look at the importance of the multiplication facts and the tools we provide on rightlobemath.com to learn them. We'll also look at the flash tool that allows students to practice and compete with other students. Our abacus and mental skill training programs help students master addition and subtraction. Once the six levels of skill training are complete, students begin 10 levels of advanced math training including multiplication, division, decimals, negative numbers with larger and larger numbers as they advance through the levels. To prepare for the challenges of multiplication and division, we encourage all of our students to memorize the 9 by 9 multiplication facts. Students will use the recall of the multiplication facts to perform advanced levels of both multiplication and division. We will teach students all the advanced techniques of multiplication and division in later videos. For now, we want to show students how to use our Math Facts and Tools modules to quickly learn all 9x9 nine nine multiplication facts. Since we use a base 10 numbering system, there's no need to learn facts beyond the 9x9. Nine nine. If we haven't convinced you yet to be a rightlobemath.com subscriber for the incredible value of $29 per year, you can also register for free with access to the Sorbonne skill training that may help you decide. We know if you give our math program a try, in a short time you will see results. Our goal is to help all students master arithmetic. So let's get started on how to learn our math facts on rightlobemath.com. Okay, now that we've logged back into rightlobemath.com and we're on our main practice page, I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into the math facts module. And here you can see we have four different training programs. We have addition facts, subtraction facts, multiplication facts, and division facts. And so sometimes uh, first or second graders uh, might be concerned with their single addition, um, uh, addition and subtraction facts and they can work with those programs. Uh, our main focus is going to be on the multiplication facts. So let's go ahead and take a look at the multiplication facts and going to the training page here uh, we can see we have a road map um, at the top where there are 20 levels to learn our 9x9 nine nine multiplication facts and typically uh, we have students um, at each level learn uh, two to three new facts so um, in this case we are learning uh, five times four 5 times 5 and 5 times 6. And so once a student is comfortable uh, with these three new facts, then they simply come and click the practice button. And here uh, again we launch our practice UI and just click start. And the student is just to uh, recall the facts um, as quickly as they can and punch in the number uh, as the facts are presented to them. And the idea is to just recall from memory uh, as fast as they can and um, try to not use any other method um, for recalling the facts. So I'll just go ahead and finish this up and then we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the results page. So here on the results page, um, I can see that I've passed 
my training quiz and my penguin is, is very happy playing his ukulele there. But what I would like to point out here is in the response section, um, we can see the response time. And I'd like to draw your attention to the response time, uh, understanding that our goal is to try to um, recall the facts in one and a half seconds or less. And the importance of this is, is that research has shown if a student can recall a fact within a second and a half or less, uh, they're recalling directly from memory and not using any other uh, method to try to recall that fact. And um, of course, memory will be the fastest way uh, for students to recall their facts. So let's go ahead back to the, the practice page. Um, and we also have a division tool here, uh, or program, I'm sorry, um, where students are basically presented the nine by nine facts in reverse, uh, kind of uh, like ac asking a division question instead of a multiplication question. So using both the multiplication and division programs is a good way to speed up uh, uh, learning the math facts um, very quickly. So once they've gone through those programs, uh, we have a couple of tools that are uh, really helpful in um, building speed recalling these facts. And uh, in particular, we have a tool called the Times 100 where we present students um, with 100 math facts. And the goal here is to try to um, answer uh, or recall all 100 facts within three minutes. So you just click start and as usual um, you will just recall the, uh, the math facts from memory and punch in the answer and um, uh, continue through all 100 facts as fast as you can. So I'll go ahead and stop this for now and as usual you'll be taken to your results page. Okay and we also have um, a divide by 100 tool that um, works exactly the same way uh, in this case uh, you're recalling the facts uh, in, the re in the reverse order uh, as a division question instead of a multiplication question. So there you have um, a uh, method for um, rapidly memorizing your 9x9 nine nine multiplication facts, uh, which again, the recall of these facts will be used in the higher level uh, um, abacus training and mental calculation training where they'll need to recall these facts uh, as quickly as possible but we'll go into that more um, in later videos. The other thing I wanted to uh, show you is our flash tool and our flash tool is uh, a tool that um, users can come and uh, practice and even compete with uh, other students on the system. So if I just wanted to practice I can come here and um, I can uh, either uh, select a, um, a preset uh, practice session and just click start and uh, this will present me um, five one-digit numbers in four seconds. And then you just enter the answer and um, uh, you can either uh, do it again at that same setting or you can change your, your uh, flash setting. I um, also wanted to point out that we allow students um, to customize uh, to whatever settings they want. Um, 
like they can do uh, just by um, typing in the parameters that they want and then um, click start and it'll function exactly the same way uh, as before. And then you just enter the answer and you can uh, continue working with that setting or you can go ahead and change that setting. Um, so uh, once I'm done with my practice uh, session then I can just uh, click uh, save to view all of my results on a results summary page and it shows me um, everything that I did in in that practice session um, and I'm going to go back to the flash tool here uh, just to show you that um, in the competition uh, section you would uh, choose a preset uh, of uh, a competition and then you just click start and in this case uh, you'll have to do five problems in a row and then you just enter the answer uh, for each one and um, uh, you, you, you would proceed that way but I'm gonna go ahead and stop this uh, so um, we can um, come back to our practice page here and that's about it for this video uh, we've covered now how to use uh, our MathFax uh, module and also our tools module so um, we're going to be uh, presenting some uh, videos that will also help users who advance on to our level training which uh, I'll just give you a quick preview of um, the roadmap for uh, level training so once they they finish all of their skill training then uh, here we can see at the top we have uh, 10 levels of uh, advanced uh, abacus training and it starts on the left from level 10 and works all the way over to level 1 on the right which is the the highest level the Yokozuna level if you will but as you can see uh, your training in addition subtraction problems multiplication and division and as usual each level will have a training video um, to go over the techniques uh, for that level. So that's it and I hope uh, you're enjoying using uh, our program and having great success with it and uh, see you next time.